Once you've got it off the pallet, we want to go through the process of turning it on and testing it. You can use the leveling jacks, bring them down to the point where they're, they'll all make a lock and spot. After you've got the leveling jacks down, let's go to the side that does not have the cable coming out. And you wanna unwind these a little bit. They'll stop, they won't come out all the way. And just pry this with the weather stripping off. It may be tight. And right underneath here, this again is where the battery is. If you ever need to take it out or charge it, you'll find a box that's got the gateway in it. I'm gonna put the box aside. I'm gonna put the cover back on. But slides in, and you can lock them in place. Unboxing the controller, you'll find this is called the gateway. This is what connects your phone, either your iPhone or your Android. And then from there, the gateway can go 2.4 miles to one or multiple minis. So this device must be on, it must be within 30 feet of where your iPhone or your smart device is. Also in the box, you'll notice your charging cable, your power supply adapter for the United States, and a power coupler. This is only used for troubleshooting should you have any issues. Before you start your machine on, once you've got it in place, you wanna turn, disable the rotation lock. You pull the pin out, and this will come up like that. Do not put your pin here. Centrifugal force while the machine is turning will make this come out. Keep your pin down low like this. Once you have your rotation lock off, all you need to do is turn the button to the right and that machine will come up. If it's blinking blue, when you turn your gateway on by holding that power for one second, this process will go on and the two should be married. Should you have any problems with pairing, Go to our video on repairing your Mini to your Gateway. With the Gateway turned on in light blue, and the Mini turned on with light blue, load the Crazy Coil app on either your Android or your iPhone. You can go to Manual Setup. It'll go out and find the Gateway. Once it finds the Gateway, you press your finger on it. It'll load it. Your Gateway now, you'll notice, will turn green. You go to the bar on the top and say Find Machines. You'll notice now that that light went green on the Mini, the light's green on the Gateway, and then right up to here, you will see that machine show up, and it's ready to go. One thing I like to do just to make sure things are working is go to the menu, go to speed control, hit the tilt button just a little bit, it'll start tilting the machine. You can press stop at any time on the remote, it will stop it. I also can tell it to roll, You'll notice that I'm going to roll the machine now. I can press stop. I can rotate the machine also. You'll notice that with the jacks all the way in, the machine will still spin. I'll now show you how to extend the jacks if you want to give you better stability. The more level the machine is, the more accurate the X, Y, and Z locations will be. To level the machine, you can either use the jacks completely done where they're all the way in. If you want more stability, very easy to take the jack, the hitch pin out here. You can pull the jack all the way out and you'll find another spot right here. And we can go all the way around and set them up. The other thing you wanna do is you're finished, just go around and make sure that these handles are always out on the outside, like that. Once you've got the machine level, the best thing to do is to calibrate it. Remember to calibrate it with the clays out of the carousel. If you try to calibrate with the clays in the carousel, it will not be as accurate as could be. You're gonna to go to the menu button, click under calibration. Whatever machine is showing on the bottom that you wanna calibrate, you just hit it here. I've got this one done. I'm gonna tell it now to calibrate. And you'll notice immediately on the machine, the light will come around and go orange for the LED puck.
what it's doing is figuring out the maximum up and down and the maximum left and right. All that is completely adjustable by the threaded rods on the thrower. Once it's determined the maximum left and the maximum right, it will also determine the arc of that. And then it'll rotate 360 degrees once and find magnetic zero. Once that's done, that light will change and go back to green. You'll notice on your screen, it gives you an update. Right now it's at 16%. It takes between three and five minutes depending on where you're at and how unlevel your machine is.